Hey folks, Internet Dude here again. Surprise! I traded my Tesla for a Lexus. You may have seen the Electric article or social media recently that showed a mail out that a Texas dealer sent out to Tesla owners. It says, you've had your fun, now it's time for zero compromise. And on the back it touts the benefits of Lexus, which include a local dealership network, no delay on parts, zero range issues or anxiety, and they also state that Lexus is the number one luxury brand for initial quality, vehicle dependability, and number two in customer satisfaction. So yes, I actually traded my Tesla for a Lexus, and trust me, it is an upgrade. Yes, Teslas are fun, but there are definitely compromises when you own and drive one, especially where I live. I'm not sure I would say there are zero compromises with a Lexus, but there are less compromises compared to Tesla. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Did I make a mistake or do you agree that I upgraded? The Lexus that I bought here is the flagship luxury sedan, the LS500. The car is incredible in so many ways. There's the obvious fact here that when you buy a Toyota or Lexus, the build quality is much, much higher than Tesla. The likelihood of having panel gaps or misalignment like a Tesla is pretty much zero. Of course, reliability and dependability is also much, much higher. Did you see my most recent video about all the issues I had with my Tesla in the five year span that I owned it? And yes, there is not the slightest hint of range anxiety in this wonderful sedan. In fact, at the rated highway fuel economy rating, the car will go over 900 kilometers on a tank of gas and refuel in a few short minutes. With my Tesla, there were trips where I took a gas car instead because cold temperatures in the winter dropped the EV range so badly or I just didn't have the time to charge. I'm looking forward to getting timely service when I need it, not having to wait six to eight weeks for a tech to come or having to drive a day each way when it's a bigger issue. Let me show you some of the amazing features of the LS that weren't in my Model S. First off, this interior, wow, it is so luxurious. The leather is soft. There's soft touch materials all over inside. The front seats have 28 ways of adjustability and not only are they heated and cooled, but they're also massaging seats. There's a heads up display, front parking camera, 360 degree bird's eye camera view system. You got a sunglasses holder, there's coat hooks, there's a uh, soft touch leather grab handles. There's a proper blind spot warning system that puts the alerts in the mirrors where they belong. All four doors are power soft closed doors. The car has Apple CarPlay. There are some neat luxury details that the Japanese designers included here, such as the illuminated seat belt buckles. They actually uh, move up and down a little bit to help you buckle up in the front row. There's active noise cancelling inside, plus a 23 speaker audio system. The rear seat passengers are pampered as well, with a touch screen in the middle to control the window shades, the audio. Uh, the, uh, the rear seats, uh, you have individual climate controls as well back there that are automatic. Um, you have power reclining rear seats. Those rear seats are 22 way power adjustable and they are also heated and cooled. Outside, the trunk has the kick to open and close feature, and the ride of this car is so much smoother than the Model S. Even compared to my top of the line 2018 Model S P100D with air suspension, there's a big difference. Well, I don't want to bore you with all the reasons why this car is better than the Tesla I traded in. Really, the main point of this video is to let you know that yes, there really are people dumping the Teslas and buying other brands, no matter what the Tesla fanboys think. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future car videos.